and hello once again, YouTube. Um, or my audience, or oh yeah, I say oh. Um, three introductions for two thirty-six in the morning. Ah, uh, yeah, excellent, awesome. Anyways, all right. So this one is a bit uh more. Uh, it's a lot less official looking than the sword practice because I have no idea what did I. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing with this, so I'm just making stuff up. The flourishing is actually pretty fun with this, and I almost got that, like, right away after I first saw a video on it. Like, ah, oh, I should probably take care of this arm real fast. Ah, uh, because don't want to lose control of the staff, even less than the sword, because this is actually at least twice as heavy as the sword. Which doesn't, which isn't saying much, because the sword is kind of light. Okay, that's kind of hurting now. Bad idea, Quam. Bad idea. Bad idea. Alright, so, uh, let's go. So, this time we're not going to do two different sets of overhand. I mean, two different... Well, actually, for now, this is exactly the same as sword practice, only instead of just going like this... I just hit myself in the thigh. Excellent. Alright, so for the... We're going to be doing both above and below. So, and, uh, also left foot leading for this one, right? So, ready, set. <laughs> yes, that was my thigh. Um, that's probably gonna hurt soon, so maybe. Yeah, it's gonna leave a bruise. Um, one sec, let me check it. Doesn't look as bad as you'd think. Um, alright, so, as you noticed, I didn't do 50 of each. I just did 50 cumulative, so, um... Next, left hand, leading with the right foot, and, uh, I forgot to mute the Spore Game for chat, so... That's probably either Zay or Tickum that you're hearing right there, so, uh, let's go. Alright, and, um, next we're going to be doing, we're turning back this way, and we're going to be leading with the left hand and uh, back and forth across the body, horizontally. So I'm not going to be doing two different sets leading with the right hand in different directions like I did with the sword. For this one, I'm just going to uh, do the 50 in both directions with each hand. So leading with the left hand again. No, leading with the left foot. And uh, I guess you're tired of seeing my legs by now. Maybe. Crud. Uh, now I'm just being an idiot, so let's go! And now leading with the right foot, um, I just hit myself in the spot that I slammed just a little bit ago. It doesn't hurt yet. Um, so, we're going to keep going, so. Alright, that one was incredibly awkward. You probably noticed that. It actually, this kind of sore right now because of how awkward it was. So, uh, just let me catch my breath a little here. Not like I'm completely out of it, but just enough to where it's slightly uncomfortable. Here, why don't I get another drink of water off the frame again? Still arrowhead. All right, now, Flourishing with the staff, which I'm sure the entire reason why you're watching this video because 
this is what everybody wants to do. So, um, I'm not entirely sure on the foot position right here, even though I watched a video on it. So, uh, um, I'm just going to lead with my right foot this time and start off with the right hand. So, what you're going to do for this is kind of just let the staff fall back and then catch it in your other hand. Bring it across, let it fall back, catch it, and then bring it across again. So, uh, at least that's what the video said. Uh oh, computer off. Doesn't actually mean anything, but I'm just anal about that. So, all right, let's go. Alright, that uh, was done. As you can tell, I kind of lost uh, control of the staff a few times, a little, because it made contact with my legs or a little bit of my clothes. And uh, that's that little bit of nudge will completely throw you off. And a few times I've accidentally let go of the staff and it's gone flying over here. Well, everybody's asleep, mind you, but me. So it was flying over here and I catch it in midair because <laughs> I freak out too. It's like, ah! Um, so yeah, anyways, next forward flourishes, and uh, this one's a lot more awkward than backwards flourishes for me. I'm not sure how it'll be for you, so uh, we're going to start with the left foot leading this time, and uh, once again we're going to start. Um, it's a little bit of an awkward technique for this one. I'm not exactly sure how to do it. It's kind of like the let it fall backwards, only you're letting it fall forwards and catching it, so... Once again, um, if you haven't been able to tell by now, what, oh no, I, did I just insult my viewers? I'm sorry, please forgive me. Um, what you've probably been able to tell by now is that each time we do something, it's 50 of it. So, uh, so 50 in, uh, trading off between hands, so you'll be doing 25 in each hand, like the backwards portion, so. And there we have it, 50 forward flourishes. So uh, this concludes the qualm demonstrates his short techniques and is a complete butthole. Unless of course this actually interests you, in which case then I'm being helpful. So uh, mostly it's just me showing off, I think. So unless you want to take it otherwise, this is entirely subjective to you, the, to you, the viewer. So uh, anyway, so if you like it then maybe I'll practice some new with some more weapons and uh, show you those um, I'm not exactly uh, skilled with anything other than the sword and the staff at the moment this is actually just a walking stick I got at the Grand Canyon um, but it's useful for its purpose so uh, anyways but here I'll actually demonstrate one of my other swords right now I won't demonstrate it, it's a bit too heavy for me to work with, but... The first sword that I ever got is this. Imperial Eagle Broadsword. It's very cool, very classy. Um, a lot heavier than the other one. So, it's a 
See, I have to work hard to control that one, so I don't recommend starting with something like this unless you're a blacksmith. Or you're just incredibly beefy by birth. And who knows, that, that happens occasionally. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, sayonara. Oh wait, let's see what time it is. 2.46 a.m., so that means it's time to sign off on YouTube, but still staying up for about another hour, I think. So, uh, night, sleep well.